Hello. <clears throat> hey everybody, welcome back. This is Kara and we're glazing with Amico. So my two coats of Ironstone PC36 are now dry. So I will be applying the Toasted Sage PC43. Uh, if you are joining me after seeing the first video, there's a little bit of sponge stuck to my mug. If you're rejoining me after seeing the first video, part one, live, you may have noticed that uh, the video cut out kind of abruptly. And um, there wasn't really m anything important that was missed, just finishing up the glazing and saying, come on back for part two. So. I'm going to clean up the bottom with the toasted with the uh, ironstone. Make sure that it's all off the all off the foot. Being an iron rich glaze, it does tend to smear and stain the foot, which can be a pain in. But it's okay. So here we go. Cleaned. I've got my PC43 Toasted Sage. Shake, shake, shake. Probably shaking the table as I do this. So I think I know why the video cut out at the end last time. I think that we will have better uh, results today, well, this afternoon, than we did this morning. So, I'm going to go with the same size of brush. You can see this is a new, very, very new brush. The bristles haven't been stained with iron like all of the rest of my brushes tend to do. And for this, I'm going to do kind of a swoop with the, with the top coat of glaze. I'm going to give it a little bit of space at the top for as, as I've said before, the question with food safety is that, it, that we don't test combined glaze combos. We just can't because of the, the, the number of variables. <clears throat> Do a little bit down the handle. So if you're wanting to be assured that the glaze passes our food safety testing as prescribed by the FDA, we suggest you use a single food safe glaze on the inside or food surfaces. And then keep your layering to the outside or where it won't be in contact with food or mouths. It's not, a, I, I'm not terribly concerned. There's no lead in any Amico glazes that are in current production. Um, and uh, the, the only other thing that the FDA is looking at is cadmium, which I do not believe there's any cadmium in either of these glazes pretty sure. So the, the risk is, is extremely minimal, but if it's a concern to you, that is the way to do it. So here I'm using the ironstone on the inside. Toasted sage is only on the outside. So there's my, my top coat. I'm going to let, let it dry a little bit. This can be applied in a lot of different ways. So I could do it, it on this cup, it was just straight across, and you can see it flowed down a little bit on one edge, but it stayed more or less where I wanted it. It could be applied in stripes, it could be applied in dots. If you have a textured surface, you could maybe apply it over uh, the tops, but not into the interstices. So you'd get a different effect depending on what you were wanting to do. Um, 
as it's thicker, it'll have a different, um, it'll have a little bit larger uh, spot happening. Where it's thinner, it tends to be a little bit smaller. So I didn't have any questions this morning, but I just wanted to say I'm so glad to have people joining me and, and shout out hi to people joining me from all over the country and all over the world. And um, it is really fun to, to have everybody here, even if I can't see you or actually hear you. That is still wet. I think that I'm probably going to have to do that second coat off camera later. But if you have other questions about this combination, the iron ironstone that I used as the base is very similar in a lot of ways to ancient jasper. So you might get a similar effect with the ancient jasper with toasted sage. And if you're looking for a more green tone instead of the, the creaminess of the toasted sage, which sometimes can, someone commented earlier, it can sometimes be a little on the pink side. Yes, it can. Sometimes come out a little more pink. If you're wanting something that is uh, a little greener, go with PC44 Sage, which is the same glaze, but uh, in a greener tone. So uh, those are some different options for those two glazes that would give similar effects, but slightly different colors. So as I said uh, in part one, uh, next week I'm going to talk about brushes and if there's any questions that you guys have for me today or if there's something particular that you would like to see me address in one of these live videos just drop it in the comments and I will get back to you all uh, later today or uh, later this week. Uh, have a great autumn. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye.